Welcome to Disney A, the Canadian-themed Disney travel podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Krista. And I'm Brandon. Brandon, are you in this together? <laughs> uh, All of us? Yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> Wildcats <this>. for life. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> well, you literally, literally, literally just turned off the third High School Musical. You did a marathon. Uh, I feel like I did a marathon. <laughs> well, your marathon was watching the High School Musical movies in succession. I think I might have rather ran a marathon maybe <laughs> no i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> before we get uh, to that though no i want to hear your thoughts okay, and stuff okay, okay. <laughs> but before we do that brandon what's your nerd thing this week uh mostly uh being forced to watch all the high school <laughs> musical movies that's all i can think about now <laughs> what did we do yesterday i don't know i can't remember <laughs> it's all a blur it's all it's high school before. musicals <laughs> We played we played D&D. Basketball. <laughs> Just basketball. Sharpay. <laughs> or Sharpie. <laughs> I was calling her Sharpie. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yes, we did play some D&D. Yeah. That was good. That was funny. I was poking ogres with my stick. Poor ogres. Good. good, good stuff. Poor Coco. Coco the ogre. Ogre. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Coco. Yeah. Do I know what my nerd thing is? Because I have two. Yeah, I can guess what one of them is. Um, I'm two days away from finishing my last day of school. Yeah. That's grad. Uh-huh, uh-huh, very uh-huh. Works very well with high school musicaliness. Yes. They did graduate. <laughs> they did. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, and then it's my summer. 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 Okay. The summer song is kind of a banger. Right? Okay. I said I have that on a playlist. Yeah. Only. Yeah. It's good. So then that's one. And then the other one is it came this week, got a new switch, which also means I got a new island for Animal Crossing. So today I played a lot of Animal Crossing setting up my island. Now we now I can actually play the switch. Yes. <laughs> yes, I was having to explain that the, you didn't get the switch for me. It's just a very handy thing to like so you actually have access to it. It's, it's for her. <laughs> I'm whispering because it's for her. Okay. Well, anyway, so uh, that's very exciting. And I have, you helped me come, well, you came up with it. The best island name ever. Best island name ever. My apparently. island is named Laundry. What? My island is named Laundry because you're going to ask me, what are you doing today, Krista? Ask me what I'm doing today. Krista, what what are you doing today? Working on laundry. What were you doing all day, Krista? Laundry. Yeah. 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 Cool. Cool, 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 okay. cool, cool. So anyway, it's fun. And what are you drinking? Um, well, a lot. Uh, because I was watching six hours of high school musical <laughs> is, is the answer there. Um, but but currently it's a nice lovely peach gin mm. peach bubbly peach bubbly peach buble buble i am drinking a bud light seltzer strawberry and you said it tastes like a strawberry rhubarb pie if it was a seltzer yeah uh, and there is no rhubarb in it but mm. it, it I, I i'm getting distinct hints of rhubarb so mm. uh i was surprised i was not expecting much from a bud light seltzer but it's pretty tasty better than bud light <laughs> <laughs> low bar to be low, low bar <laughs> Um, let's also, we finished up (laughs) Obi-Wan. We did. Before we get to that, though, we have a new episode of Ms. Marvel. Um, quick gut reaction, spoiler free, what'd you think? Man, okay, uh, Ms. Marvel is, is kicking butt, like... So good, right? Like, so good. Yeah. Like, I, I, I cannot say enough good things about Ms. Marvel. I was not super excited about it, as I've said before, but, uh, yeah, just... Just go watch it. If you're a Marvel fan, it's awesome. Yeah, so exciting. And Woe Be One. We finished. Woe Be One. Woe Obi Wan. <laughs> Woe Be One. That's actually a better name. Whoa. Woe Be One. Whoa. How many of those Bud Lights have you had? Wow. I was I was the one watching the High School Musical. <laughs> okay, Obi Wan, the finale. What did you think? Again, spoiler free. 
definitely stuck the landing is what I can say to that. Okay, fair. Mm -hmm. So let's, we'll talk about it again at the end of the show, but that's actually going to be our topic for next week. Um, so we'll talk about it obviously in more detail than in our own thoughts and stuff like that. But I was a big fan of the finale as well. Cool. And I was a fan of the whole show, but, uh. Yeah. Anyway, there was no mu- there was no music in Obi Wan. What? Huh? Well, yeah. pff, what's the point then? <laughs> yeah, there was lightsabers. <laughs> they got to get your head in the game. <laughs> that, that would be a good theme song for Anakin, actually. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, that probably takes us to the news. Disney A news update. I'm going to run through news pretty quickly here. There was actually a fair bit of news, but let's just do highlights because we have a lot of musicals to talk about. Well, I don't know about that, but (laughs) uh, yeah, let's uh, do some news. Okay, so um, one that... They, you know how a couple weeks ago they announced all their Halloween events and things like that? And Halloween is, of course, a really big deal in Disneyland. Big. Yeah. Big deal. Well, yeah. it was halfway to Christmas, and so they announced a bunch of Christmas stuff. They um, had the first viewing of some of the merch, and we've got some ugly sweaters. We have some ears. We have a super cute lounge fly with, like, it looks like peppermint Mickey ears on it. Okay, so clarify. Is this holiday merch that's going to come out in December or is this Oh, it's not coming out in December. Halfway to halfway to Christmas merch that's coming out now. It's it says we're halfway to the holiday season, so to celebrate Disney shared a first look at the new holiday merch that will be coming to the park. So I'm going to guess it's going to be coming out during Christmas season, which mm. basically means like what, September, October? They they bring out a little bit just before After Halloween, Halloween. After and Halloween. then like then at Halloween itself, okay. which is over. I thought they were. I thought they were having some merch for halfway to Christmas, which it would oh, be kind of no, funny. Oh no! But they too. do some food items they for do, halfway to Christmas. They do some and food, and they're yeah. kind of like sneak peeks with the idea that if possible, they'll bring back, of course, and then there'll be more as well. So yeah, maybe that's kind of what you're thinking of. I don't know. Because yeah, the food items are out right now as well. Hmm. It's not even halfway to Christmas yet. It's past halfway to Christmas. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's actually halfway to. We're recording on the 26th. We're halfway to Boxing gotcha. Day. Gotcha. Because we're Canadian. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, eh? Boxing mm. Day. Mm. Boxing Day is a great day, actually. It's good for s- sleeping off your turkey coma. Yeah, and then turkey leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, also, as part of this whole halfway to Christmas event, or halfway to the holidays event, both we found out that both Believe in Holiday Magic and World of Color Season of Light are returning to Disneyland Resort this holiday season. So it was like the fireworks show and then the World of Color Christmas-specific show. Both very popular, so this was quite widely, uh, quite happily received. We also have some new merch, a lot like Obi-Wan inspired, but uh, also Lightyear. L- Lightyear-themed merch, we talked last week about how a lot was showing up. Well, even more is showing up now. And, and uh, they have a new, a new mascot in the park for Lightyear yeah, that we saw a yeah. video of. Because, of course, they have the toy buzz, but they have mm-hmm. the actual man buzz right. and by, like, in Tomorrowland. Yes, and like we were saying um, last week, he's now permanent. Well, not permanently, but, but he was kind of wandering around before, and then he was found near Space Mountain a couple times. Now he, he's just been at Space Mountain And they got week. a whole setup with a cool exactly. backdrop and stuff. It's yeah, good. the ba- backdrop cool. actually looks kind of cool. Cool costume. Mm-hmm, yeah, and this is, of course, fueling all those rumors we talked about about how maybe Space Mountain will get redone into Lightyear themed. I am pressing X for doubt right now. Uh, the movie itself is not doing very well, mm-hmm. so that that would be very shocking if they went ahead with a mm. major expensive redo of Space Mountain. Yeah, it's more like bang for your buck, right? Mm. There's also a new creature at the creature stall in Galaxy's Edge. Um, just so you know. It's not a blur. It's not a blur. It's probably not a blur. It's it's cute though, but not a blurg. Mm. Like it kind of I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I I, what, I what you're is, showing me a video. It's very very good very good for podcasts. This video. Well, no, um, but I'm telling. Do you know what it, it is? It looks like a looks like a frog. Yeah. Lizard of some kind. I no, I don't. Okay. Well, anyway, that is now at the uh, if you like this frog lizard weird thing. Um, that's at the creature stall. But again, not a blurg. Not a blurg. Not a blurg. Bring some blurgs. No kidding. Hashtag bring the blurg. <laughs> so 
We did mention that as part of this whole halfway to holidays. Holiday treats. Yeah. Um, so some treats and popcorn buckets showed up June 23rd. This is both at Disneyland and in different places ho, in Disney ho, World. Ho. You're really good at I'm very jolly to today. Yes. <laughs> this must be all the, the music in must my heart. Be. <laughs> I got the music Cause, in cause you. We were, yeah, I got my head in the game <laughs> and the music in me. And we're all in this together. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to talk about the Disneyland ones, but um, you can definitely check out Disney World has some specific ones as well. So these are the food items that are currently available to celebrate halfway to the holidays. Okay. So there is the Christmas dinner corn dog from Blue Ribbon Corn Dogs in downtown Disney. And that is a turkey hot dog. Um, it has a side of cranberry sauce for dipping, but of course you wouldn't like that, but it's for dipping. So you wouldn't need to do that. I so is the, the, the dog, like the, the hot dog made of turkey meat? I guess so. It hmm. says it is a corn dog made with a turkey hot dog, hand dipped in batter, rolled in panko crumbs and served with cranberry sauce for dipping. I like that idea. Yeah, I, I do too. I'm, I'm not, uh, again, not big on, mm -hmm. <laughs> on the cranberry sauce, but I can see how that would work with a corn dog. And I think that's a good idea. Definitely. This would be right up my alley. I mm -hmm. love turkey and mm -hmm. cranberry. I love cranberry everything. I would also really like this one. This is a California churro. There is the peppermint churro. This has uh, is rolled in crushed peppermint and drizzled with mint frosting and peppermint candy pieces. Again, not your thing. No. Dis that mine, that would taste a little like toothpaste to me. <laughs> Teach their own. <laughs> um, but yes, you can also head to, oh, there's lots of stuff at like Disney Springs. So, oh, so you mm -hmm, got to go, mm -hmm. go out east. And, and there's something at um, go hog wild Animal at Kingdom Springs. and... Grand California, uh, sorry, Grand Floridian. So a lot over there, but we do have a couple options here that you can check out if you want to get in the festive spirit Wait, halfway here? through. Well, I wish. Oh. But also there is a popcorn bucket. There's a popcorn bucket, um, but so far it says it's only available at Disney Springs, but it's supposed to be coming to California. I don't know if that's coming to California now or in the future or what but it's like a christmas tree and mickey and minnie are in front of it that's a popcorn bucket and it's uh gold colored so yeah, very the, the the gold color is really throwing me off it kind of looks like a deformed lemon square with frosting on it or something i don't know <laughs> not my favorite popcorn bucket i've ever oh, seen oh i think one. it's super cute but uh not i don't have one so that's okay not my favorite my favorite is the is uh, the elliot one we did get yeah it's definitely mm -hmm. no elliot mm -hmm, that's or exactly. millennium falcon or millennium falcon yeah or mousy and then mousy the mouse droid mousy the mouse droid and then the other news on a little bit more of a somber note hmm. uh yes um disney is among other and um among a list of major companies that have vowed to cover employees um, out of state abortions with the recent overturning of Roe versus Wade. Yeah, so they just they, they sent out an internal memo uh, just reiterating the fact that their benefit plan mm -hmm. covers any travel costs associated with a medical expenditure that is not readily available in your home location. Yes. So that would include abortions Definitely. because that is a medical. Exactly, procedure. and this is not a new thing they just put in place for this, but the reminder was, um, well, they made the reminder immediately after the overturning, yes. and uh, just like, hey, we got you kind of thing, and um, that, of course, made news, so. Okay, let's go to the main topic. Disney Plus and chill. High school. Musical. They, they, they actually have a song in the third one called High School Musical. See, okay, I'm going to be honest. I, re I think I've watched the first one twice. I've watched the second and third one only once, but the third one I didn't even really watch once. I think I was marking or something when it was on. So I remember, like, nothing from the third one. The second... I remember most of it, and of course the first. I remember most of it. So gotcha. Yeah. So no, that's their big. That's their big final number. They is the high they, school. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can go through it. So let's start with. I definitely do feel like I just ran a marathon because <laughs> six hours of High School Musical is is a lot for any one person to undertake. <laughs> so wait, hold on, hold on. So are you saying you don't want to binge all the seasons of High School Musical, the musical, the series? <laughs> First of all, just saying that title <laughs> is tiring. So, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. 
<laughs> so we'll, we'll break that into chunks then. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? No. No. No, this is going to be like a recurring series we're doing. You watching <sighs> funny things. <laughs> just, I, I would like to remind you of three words, just to remember going into your explanation here. Um, can of worms. Yeah, okay. How long was Can of Worms? <laughs> but it was three times as bad uh, as High School Musical. I don't know about that. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, okay, start with start with the beginning. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to go for, for a brief overview of, mm-hmm. of the trilogy, the cinematic okay. trilogy <laughs> of okay. High School Musical. Before you do that, can I just say, Brandon, you live tweeted this i did i did like if you do not follow us on twitter like you need to go do that because i was literally like literally crying laughing okay you're really funny i i not one to toot my own horn but i think it was a pretty good life it was it was really funny uh there's a there's a separate thread for each movie yeah so you can watch along and you're so snarky it's really enjoyable i'm not mean though no 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 just like (laughs) so that's what i want to say so the the this is a trilogy of movies, and uh, it started off as basically a direct to Disney Channel, mm-hmm. the original, um, and it became popular. So then it, the, the, the second one had a little bit more money, and then the third one got released in theaters as like a full blown yeah. actual movie. So good for them. Yep. Um, you can tell that there's a little bit more money in each one. Mm-hmm. And. I don't know. Maybe it's Stockholm syndrome talking, but I, I didn't. I didn't hate hate my time. I, I was having fun being snarky on Twitter. Okay. Um, and yeah, check out those tweets because no, it's really fun. I had I had a good time. Yeah. So definitely, like uh, we always say, like check us out on social media and stuff like that. But this is really worth checking out. It was really funny. Yeah. And like maybe watch the movie and yeah. read the tweets as they come because you'll you'll be able to pick out where they're coming from. Definitely, that's that was really fun. Except, uh, yeah, it actually almost made me want to watch all three again. No, I'm I would I would do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, the first one definitely uh, Disney Channel level mm-hmm. movie, mm-hmm. but like a little bit elevated. They they're. They're giving it their all. They're young kids mm-hmm. uh, doing whatever. But and these are, like, now legitimate actors, too. Like. Well, some of them, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but I can see why it was popular with kids and, like, how it became mm-hmm. a, a thing. Right. Like, okay. it, it has legitimate musical chops to it. Yeah. In some ways. Um, what was your favorite moment in the first one? I, I just... I had to laugh at the basketball practice that broke out into a musical when they were making fun of musicals. Like it was, <laughs> it was just like extremely ironic. The, the choreographed, really inefficient basketball practice. It was, it like you're not practicing anything basketball related. You're just doing choreography. Choreography. <laughs> okay. Nice That's different, like different Christmas show out there. I like <laughs> different that. musical. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes, um, and I, I definitely felt like maybe they were being attacked by a dancing demon f- from from oh, Buffy. It, you did reference Buffy a couple times I, in my live tweeting. Yes, I, mm-hmm. like that that first one especially. It felt mm-hmm. just because it was set in a high school, and I thought like somebody had put on the wrong <laughs> necklace. Uh, they were <laughs> they were summoning a demon, and so there was going to be dance, but not the scary one. Yeah, not just the scary demon. one. Yeah, and there was going to be like a child bride scenario. Yeah, yeah. yeah just bad, bad news. That bad never news. works out. Mm. Maybe well, once. Maybe once. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> May have watched that. Too many times. <laughs> uh, so that yeah, that happened, mm-hmm. and man, they're young. Yeah. They are so young. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they like there's a happy ending and. And all these good things happen, and they're all friends. Yeah. And but then there's a sequel. Yes. And they're not forgot that they were friends. They're not. There's some of them are not friends anymore. Right. I mean, but some of them are. This this happens in high school. Actual high school. Yeah. Okay. So who is still friends during the transition? I like the 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 basketball team and the nerds are kind of still friends. Yeah. They all kind of hang out so together. So who's not friends? The, it's interesting. This high school has like a lot of cliques. And they're they like kind of standard Mean Girls style clicks, but then they all are just 
kind of mash together. Right. So it doesn't it doesn't work. It's not written as well as Mean Girls. Okay, we'll, we'll okay, just say that. Right, yeah. Uh, I would also like to point out. So I, I didn't watch Teen Beach Movie One, but I watched Teen Beach Movie Two, and they they talk about clicks and things like that, and they like mock them and like bring them all together through the power of song. But it's done in like a super cheesy, but like very self-aware self-referential way and everyone's yeah no like, this this kind of like just like oh these are the nerds but they should still be nerds but now they're gonna sing and not be nerds anymore okay okay but they're still nerds but they're, but they're still nerds. i don't know everyone can unite through the power of song they have dance. conflict when it's convenient for a song okay. and then they have no conflict when it's convenient for a song okay so what who was your favorite character in the first one or the whole series is fine I uh, maybe the drama teacher because she's just like so <laughs> over the top she calls it the musical <laughs> and she's just like super really into it I like that <laughs> yeah I, I think I think she she went for it she went for it and continues yeah. to go for it okay she enjoys her job go for maybe maybe a maybe. little too much like they're just high school kids maybe take it down a notch I don't know <laughs> it's, it's not it's not Juilliard I know that they get scholarships to their the oh spoiler alert oh, oh okay. okay what else do you have to say for the first one before we move to the second like just general. Yeah, like, uh, definitely low budget mm -hmm. and very young. Uh, Zac Efron in this one is channeling his best Justin Bieber yeah, impression. Yeah, super Justin Bieber. He's got the Bieber haircut. But that was the time, oh, right? That was the time, and he's, his, his voice is so high-pitched in this first one. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, if you close your eyes, you cannot tell the difference between Zac Efron so, and Vanessa Hudgens. I don't think Zac Efron sung in this I don't. Song. I don't think so either. And because and dude can sing. I mean, like, Greatest Showman has its faults, but there's some excellent music in that. And he sang his parts, and it was awesome. But in the first one, I think he did not. They, they, they. It seemed dubbed yeah. to me. Yeah. Like all of the singing in yeah. the first one seemed dubbed. Right. Um. I like what was his name. I mean, like Brett? they probably they probably lip sync even if they are singing yeah. when they're acting. But, but like the voice didn't it even... didn't match. Like yeah. it didn't match. It, it was it was kind of like a the Lion King situation. Right. W w when JTT is doing the voice of the of the line, of course right. it's lip syncing because it's animation. But <laughs> mm -hmm. then then he like his voice completely changes when he's singing. Right. right? Yeah. Like, during sir. Um, just can't wait to oh, be king. Was that? Yeah. Just can't wait to be king. But the one that always gets mocked all the time is the Akuna Matata. Uh, yeah. Because he like breaks out with it means no. Words. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's just not yeah, quite. It's not it's quite not, right. It's quite fit. Uh -huh. Um. This gets My better though. It does get better. My favorite character in the first one that I've just decided based on your tweets and what I could overhear from the other room is I think his name is Brett, but he's the basketball player who makes cookies. That's Zeke. Okay, him. He's my favorite. Ze Zeke. Zeke's the chef. Yeah. Uh, so the, in the first one, they, uh, so Troy, uh, Zac Efron's character, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is like the big time basketball player, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird because he's, uh, he's only in grade eleven. Um, mm -hmm. Generally, in in high school sports, your 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 grade twelve, your seniors will be the king of the roost. Usually, uh, almost certainly. Um, and there's no one on this basketball team that's in grade twelve. Yeah, and, they're all apparently the same age. Uh, and they they well, they're all the same age until until the third movie. Actually. Okay. Uh, so, but in the first one, like all the main. There might be some bench players that you don't see, but all the main basketball players are apparently in grade 11, yet they still win the championship. Presumably up against 12th graders. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's beside the I point. I want to know who's in a different who's a different age. I thought they were all the same grade. Yeah. In the third one, there, there's new characters. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, but our core group that we're with. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's kind of interesting. At least, I would like to say, this came out... Uh, this, the, like, 2006. I think... Glee came out like overlapped about the same time frame. I the, the third one felt very influenced by Glee. Yeah. Um but Glee like they all seemed approximately the same age but they were just in high school 
And then, but it was like, they eventually weren't because like, they're like, some of them had classes together, some of them didn't. And then some of them graduated and some didn't. Like, there was a lot of more overlap. And I was like, oh, that's actually a yeah, lot more it was, realistic. It was more realistic glee club. This one was focused a, a lot on the sports team. And it wasn't super realistic how the star of the sports team was grade 11. In grade 11. And not very tall. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so. I, I forget what your question was. Um, I liked Zeke. You like Zeke, yes. Uh, so, oh, that's right. So, the Troy, Troy, the the, the main character. Yes. He's big basketball guy. Yes. Um, but he also kind of likes singing. Uh, we find this out on his like Christmas vacation. He does some karaoke. He's on a cruise or something like that. No, they're they're in Vail. Oh, okay. I, well, or it's supposed to be like Vail, but they're on a ski holiday. Okay. And they're in the ski lodge for New Year's Eve. And he gets drug up on stage with this girl that he's never met before. Oh, it's like karaoke, right? And it's karaoke. Yeah. And they sing a karaoke song, but they can both sing. And it's, oh, it's so awesome. And, and they harmonize. And, and yeah. And and they harmonize. And they and they say, well, we'll see you later. And they give each other their phone numbers. and But then they never talk again until the first day of school back from... This is totally different than Greece. Well, yeah. It's winter. Yeah. Silly winter me. Silly me. <laughs> We're it doing wasn't, this in one semester. It was, it was winter loving. It won't summer it's loving. Not summer loving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Completely different. Had me a blast. <laughs> yeah. Well. Wow. Anyway. Okay. Oh, and the other thing is, I, I just want to, I just want to say, Troy, Zach Efron's mm-hmm. character, tells all his friends, cause, like secrets are a big thing in this movie, okay. right? He tells all his friends that he's a snowboarder, but he actually likes skiing because he's embarrassed to be a skier. And I'm like, don't like that. Oh yeah, because you're a skier. I'm a skier, and I, I this was kind of a thing in the 2000s, yeah, like. Yeah, but this was a, like wasn't it more in the 90s? Like it would this would have been the, on the way the, out. The, though. It was interesting the transition to snowboarding becoming mainstream because a, a, for a while, like in the 80s, snowboards weren't even allowed on ski hills because right. like it was like the new thing and it was like blah, blah, frowned upon. Mm-hmm. And then as it transitioned into the 90s, like it was the cool thing to do. But like I never. I never felt like it was uncool to ski. You're it was very just like, self-aware, though. I'm not sure that Troy is. Yeah, maybe. But anyway, so Troy decides that he likes singing, and then he kind of falls into doing an audition for the, the high school musical. Okay. Title. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and he, they, they, they get a call back, and so it's okay, posted. But we haven't gotten to the fact that gay... Gabriella is showing up at the school. Yeah, she's she's at the school. Whatever. Because it's Greece. So they they yeah, it's Greece, <laughs> and they 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 actually audition together, and that's how that's how he gets drugged into it because she kind of wants to, but it's like a duet mm-hmm. audition. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Who cares? Um, but they get a call back, and so it's posted on the wall, and they find out that he his basketball team oh friends my. find out that he auditioned, and he's got the secret. <gasps> and then they have a big musical number about how he likes to sing musicals, and that's bad. So we're gonna sing about it. No, so it's interesting because their musical number is like how they all have secrets. Okay. And it, they're all singing about how they have their secrets, and and the one basketball player really wants to bake creme brulee. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I like that dude. Yeah. I want to be his friend. Yeah. Uh, I would like a creme brulee, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys are picking the wrong popular guy. Um, mm-hmm. one of your one of your peers is a basketball player who also makes creme brulee. Yeah, and it like and regularly practices this because he said all, it was his goal. By all accounts, he's like a pretty good basketball yeah. player, like decent student, mm-hmm. like not flunking. There's one kid in in this group that is barely graduates, so he's not that one. Yeah, um, dude, guy, what are you doing? He's well rounded, likes to cook. Yeah, he's just he's like, a catch, and he's the one that is like embracing this whole like. People are exploring their interests. I'm going to do mine, and like doesn't worry about it because I remember he's the one who is trying to woo Sharpay, right? He, he is in the first one, yes. Yeah, just the first one. That that gets quickly forgotten. Hmm. Uh, Poor, th- there's like a minor a minor mention. Uh, like I think they they start out sort of kind of together in the first one, but uh, the the big trouble with this trilogy is a lot of the character development. What little there is in a in a musical because it's a musical you, just, mm. you don't have a lot of time for character development a lot of the time, um, but it, the the character development between films is, is largely forgotten. It just they forget about it yeah. every time during the transition. Mm-hmm. Okay, anything else to add for the first one other than Zeke's awesome? He should be creme brulee. Creme brulee. Okay. Hashtag team creme brulee. Okay, very mm-hmm. cool. 
Part still, two. Still in tweet mind. I, uh, That's the totally fine. Going. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally fine. Part two. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> this takes place in the summer between grade 11 and grade 12. Summer. Except uh, all the children have miraculously aged at least two years. <laughs> Well, high school is a crazy time. Ah, uh, I guess they all, they all hit puberty in the same three month period. It was also really late. <laughs> late, yes. Um, it, it is kind of jarring because they do look a fair bit older. I mm-hmm. I do think it was only it only came out like a year later, but right. I, well, yeah. It, it's it's a bit of a a jump because it it is definitely like supposed to be like a couple months later. Um, and it, yeah, it takes place during summer break at Sharpay's family. Sharpie, I, I call yeah. her Sharpie this whole time, but yeah. uh, it's easier to sh- say Sharpay than it is to write Sharpay. Yeah, true. Okay, Sharpie. 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 <laughs> um, it's her family's country club. Mm-hmm. Uh, so all they're all excited because they sing about their how they're excited to go on summer break, and but they're all looking for jobs, and there there's no no one hiring, I guess. Um, okay, but. Sharpie has decided that Zeke is not good enough for her anymore, and she's back into wanting Troy. Was she really wanting Troy the first one? Or was a little that... bit, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Like, that was, like, kind of a subplot, but not, like, a major okay. a subplot. She was mostly just wanting to be in the musical. Okay. But she also kind of wanted Troy because he was, like, the big popular basketball guy. Right. And then in the second, the second one, she's like... I want me some Troy. <laughs> okay. But he's with Gabriella. Yeah. Well, so that's, that's the one thing that stuck from the first one. They're mm-hmm. absolutely together there. And they're really the only couple that I remember in this whole thing. Like, they're, the only solid couple. No. So, uh, Troy's friend, uh, Darian, Darius, Darian, he's the guy with the big fro. his name was Chad. Chad. No, what's... Oh, no, his last name's like Dar- Darian. That's Chad... Darian, da- Chad, Chad, Chad Danforth. Danforth. Okay, see, I, it's in my head. The, okay, the, the, the D name. Mm-hmm. Um, he's he's with he's with uh, Gabriella's friend, the super smart one who doesn't like jocks. The other the other nerd mm-hmm. who ends up on the yearbook committee. Mm. Shocker. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I was on the yearbook committee. Shocker. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I understand what uh, you are saying. Okay, um, so yeah, those those two are kind of together as well, but okay. that's not like a major plot point okay. or anything. There's no conflict mm-hmm. there. There's no, yeah. They, okay, whatever. They they had just, just everyone kind of coupled up at the end of the first movie, and they're all, they're all together still at the beginning they're all of the in second. It together. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're in it together. Mm-hmm. They all get a job in the same place. Okay. And then they're sad that they have to actually work at the job. I hate when that happens. Yeah, it's kind. It, but it is a little bit of nepotism because. Sharpie's family runs this whole country club, and mm-hmm. she's very spoiled and kind of gets her way mm-hmm. and tells the the dude who the manager of the country club to, to do whatever she wants. And he does. And her whole goal in life is to get with Troy okay. and also sing a, a song at the talent show with Troy, and that's okay. the plot of the movie. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how does that go? Not great. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of singing mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but oh. not with sharpie at the talent show oh okay mm-hmm. um like i said i've only seen this once but i remember i really liked this one um like it was like really you must fun. have been in the right mood i <laughs> must have been but you know what it is is Sh- sharpie's brother ryan has character development in that, this this is true so and he's i enjoy he's, that he's he's kind of he's kind of sharpie's uh, side uh, evil sidekick right. in in the first one and in this one he he has a personality. He has a personality, and he, like, kind of betrays Sharpie, who's, like, goes up full-on villain mode mm-hmm, in this one. Mm-hmm. She's not a full-on villain in the first no. one. She's just kind of, like, the, eh, yeah. eh. Yeah. Uh, this one, she, like, conniving and tr- manipulative and right. just not a good person. And and he breaks away from that and, and goes with the, the wild cats. And, and they go in. They try to go into the talent show, but then she's like, no, you can't, because you're just scummy peasants who are working for my family. So really, this whole movie is a comment on the social structure of the classes. Yeah, I I thought it was some biting satire on capitalism <laughs> myself, but uh, maybe that's giving it a little too much Might be credit. Too much credit. Okay. She uses Favorite. custom golf balls on the driving range. Yeah, no, that's a little much. <laughs> the driving range. <laughs> okay. 
Favorite song in this one? Eh, probably the summer. The, yeah. the summer The summer song. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shar- Sharpie's little ditty about how she wants all the good stuff. So the first two songs are your favorite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it is It is very upbeat and fun. Yeah. Um, except for the sad power ballad. In, in the in the middle where they like, they have a, to do that every one they do uh, this one was like a kind of a breakup song it was it was a little it was a little cheesy it was a little much yeah. if I remember correctly they're like breaking up but they're not like unhappy at each other or something they're just like <sighs> our paths are not aligned goodbye I'm, I'm going to leave and I hope you can understand that was beautiful yeah mm-hmm. okay so um a summer was probably your favorite song. Or what time is it? Yeah, summertime. Okay. Okay. Th- that's the song. It's called. I what time know. is it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, favorite moment in this one? Well, they do have the big group sing at the end. Mm-hmm. They get their kumbaya out, <laughs> all on stage together. Yeah, yeah. Including Sharpie. Yeah. She 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 figures out her life. And, yeah, yeah. And is like, until the next movie. Well, yeah, of okay. course, <laughs> okay. of course. Okay. I mean. It's, it is interesting in, in school. You can have friends over the summertime, mm-hmm. and then when you go back to school, things kind of mm-hmm. revert back to school yep. thoughts. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I, I don't know. The big group sing. They, they yeah. have the talent show, and they all... It worked out well. They worked out. Oh, I like that you like the cheesy moment. Yeah, it was one. cheesy. Yeah. I mean, this Was this, this your one, favorite finale? This one was the maybe the cheesiest. Mm-hmm. Um... But like the most upbeat and and like I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I think so too. Okay, third one, senior year. Yeah. Okay. So it was alluded to in the second one, but mm-hmm. I was I was still shocked <laughs> that they were going into a whole nother year of high mm-hmm. school. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, uh, because they were talking about college in the second one and right. stuff, and I'm like, because. Troy actually goes and hangs out with some college kids as, as part of the conflict in the second one. Okay. And I'm like, mm, you have a whole nother year of high school? Okay. But, uh, yeah. What do you mean? Like, a whole nother year of high school? Like, you shouldn't have been hanging out with college kids? Yeah, well, point? they were talking about, like, him going to college and, like, pre-college. Like, that was a big part of mm-hmm. the, the conflict in the second one, him getting into college and uh, scholarship and mm-hmm. stuff and he's only in grade 11 he's got a whole nother year of I high school i have students in grade 11 who oh i know it's 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 definitely part of it but still yeah uh, if, if they were all doing it that's one thing but an occasional one especially athletes yeah yeah no that's a thing that's yeah, yeah. it just seems that's, a little weird see that's a lot more realistic to someone who is around high school all the time mm-hmm. <laughs> so that wouldn't have struck up to me at all yeah okay so but it going. sounded like he was like he, he was like going to practice with these hot these college kids and like okay and I, I don't know it, it it was a little weird okay okay so part three senior year yeah so they go back to school and they are seniors okay um, they play basketball. This one I honestly don't remember like anything from. Almost. So here, here's here's the thing. Um, you get the, you get the full on Disney intro. Mm-hmm. You even get the castle. Yeah, you tweeted that. Uh, because it's a movie. Yeah. It went came out in theaters. That's crazy. The other ones didn't come out in That's theaters. That's weird that like part three came out in theaters. Well, and it did quite well. Oh, crazy. Uh, That's because all the people who are waiting. It made it made like three hundred million dollars worldwide, mm-hmm. apparently. It, and it's not like it's it is higher budget, but I'm just like it's not like a Marvel movie, right? No. So um, a lot of wildcats out there, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, it's the big finale. It's it's kind of set up as a a goodbye movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it is very melodramatic. Okay. It is definitely the most melodramatic of the three. That's saying something crazy, because yeah. Interesting. Yes. Like the second one's quite upbeat. There's there's some melodrama in the first one, but this yeah. one's like, oh. So it, where it, what's the source of the melodrama? Uh, just them all thinking that the end of high school is like the biggest deal in their lives that are e- oh. is ever gonna so, happen. So like teenagers. Th- I was gonna like, say. So this is like the most realistic uh, one. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not saying it's unrealistic. <laughs> it's just very melodramatic, okay. but it like fits in with the. Yeah, it fits. Yeah. Fits in with the teenage context. Yeah, exactly. So that that's that's the thing. They're all like trying to plan what they're gonna do after high school. Right. As they're working their way up to graduation, mm-hmm. there is there is another big championship basketball and game. And this one takes the whole year. It's yeah. It kind of starts off in 
it kind of starts off with that the fir- the uh, the championship basketball okay. game, which they win. <gasps> that is shocking. But oh, Troy passes the ball to another kid he, oh. that he pulls off the bench, and this is this is what I'm saying. They have some they have they have a couple younger kids that mm-hmm. are characters in this, and uh, he yeah he gives the glory to to this this younger kid na- th- that's nicknamed Rocket Man. Oh okay. Because I think kind of ironically, because because he time. was he was sitting on the bench mm, uh, mm-hmm. and didn't look like ready. He was really ready to play, <laughs> okay. which is why he was unguarded oh, in the play. It was like smart. super smart thing, yeah, smart, yeah, okay. Um, and then so yeah, they win the they win the championship and they have mm-hmm. a big party, very exciting, okay. Um, and then but then they realize that their time at high school is coming to an end, <gasps> no, and they have one more musical to put on. Oh, okay. In the sp- the spring musical. Okay, what what is it? So, they don't know what it's gonna be, and <gasps> and they don't know, and then the the drama teacher who's very dramatic. Same drama teacher. Same drama okay. teacher. Yes. Oh yes. We like her apparently. Oh, she's dramatic. Okay. She says it's gonna be about you. Okay. You, and you. It's uh, so they they decide that they're going to put on high school musical. Senior oh, year, the musical. No, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how meta? Yeah, it's kind of meta. Um, and the musical is about like prom and graduation and okay. stuff, okay. and that's what they do. Okay, cool. So like they're living through that at the same time they were like and rehearsing, then, for- and then they have all this drama about well, uh, Gabriella is gonna go to Stanford, mm-hmm. and. Ooh. Smart lady. Well, like, that's kind of her thing. Yeah. She's supposed to be super mm-hmm. duper smart. Um, and uh, her friend is going to go to Yale. Ooh. Yeah, so they're the nerds. They're going to Ivy League schools. And uh, the two bros, Chad mm-hmm. and Troy, yeah. they're going to go to the same school, the same school that Troy's dad went to, oh. Coach Bolton. Okay. I have thoughts about Coach Bolton, by the way. Yeah, he's kind of a terrible human being yeah he's not he's not very good no he's not a very good role model no he's not um he he tries but he's a he's a he tries sometimes er er jock jer yeah. anyway so yeah he, uh coach bolton went to the school uh he he was he was a basketball star at the yeah. same high school and then he went to the u of a not the University of Alberta, <laughs> which was really messing with me this mm-hmm, whole time. Mm-hmm. No, the University of Albuquerque, because okay. they're they're Basketball. they're in Albuquerque, um, and yeah, so it, it was like a, kind of the local state yes. school that. Uh, has a basketball program right. and and so those two guys uh the two main guys the two bros had uh scholarships set oh, up to go there and all everybody basketball. everybody all the local people are excited they're mm-hmm. gonna he's gonna see the local boys go to the local right. school and do good stuff it's very exciting um but troy's like i don't know about that i okay. feels like this was decided for me uh, i don't know this and okay. but he he's also sad because because uh Gabrielle is going to go to Stanford, which is 1,037 miles away or something. Okay. Yeah, they have okay. the exact yeah. number. Yeah, and he's kind of upset about this. And mm-hmm. then and then it find, they find out that for their high school musical, the musical, <laughs> senior year, okay. the musical, okay. there, there's going to be two scouts. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. At it from or, Juilliard. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Y- yes, yes. And and they're, they're, they're looking to give one student... Uh, a scholarship to Let me guess. Juilliard. Sharpay wants it. Oh, Sharpay thinks she's a lock. Sharpie, okay. Sharpie's a lock for okay. it, and she's worried about the competition. So she gets her brother to try and like spy on them, the including including the the girl who's like the composer for all the high school musicals. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I remember liking her. Uh, yeah, she's probably actually the best character, mm-hmm. and. So yeah, she's kind of worried about her, and but she's also worried about Troy, and she try and get, tries to get her brother to like and mess things up. The brother's and back into helping her now. She he kind of is, and but he's like, wait, there's only one scholarship, so like if I help you, yeah. how's that gonna work? And she's like, oh well, we're twins; they'll, they'll have to take us both That's or something. Not how that works. No, <laughs> no, it's not at all. Not at all. Anyway, um, so she's hoping he's dumb. Yeah. So long story short. They uh, they put on this high school musical mm-hmm. uh, 
Gabrielle actually goes to Stanford early because she's so smart. She got early acceptance. Uh, she, yeah, she gets like an early internship oh, or something cool. like uh, an early campus mm-hmm. yep. thing. Yep. Like kind of yep. early orientation, but like in depth orientation. She's there like for the last semester of high school. That's basically. really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that causes drama because she's going to miss prom. Not prom. Yeah. Okay. And Troy drives out and he says. It can't be prom without you. So she's like, we're 1,037 miles from Albuquerque. We can't make it to prom tonight. And he's like, no, we're going to have prom here because you're my prom. (laughs) And then I went. (laughs) I I remember that. And I remember just being like, you know who's probably super pissed off about that? Mom who spent a bunch of money on its tux and like pictures and organizing it. And she's not even there because he just decided to get in his vehicle. And climbed in a tree in his tux also. Nice. tree's a big thing with Troy, actually. Troy likes trees. There's a lot of symbolism going on in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Trees. Trees. Okay. Um, So they have prom at Berkeley. Yeah. no, no, Stanford. we're over there, Stanford. Right. He, you're getting ahead of yourself with the Ber- Berkeley thing. Oh, okay, well, I was like, I have Berkeley in my head. Yeah. Okay. Uh, was anyway. that where her friend was going? No, no. no. She went to she Yale. Went to Yale. Yeah, no, okay. I haven't said Berkeley yet. Oh, you're just okay. getting ahead of, ahead of the game. Something's locked in my my head. Isn't yeah. in the game. I'm getting ahead of the game. Okay. Uh-huh. Somewhere locked in my brain. Okay, keep going. So they have prom by dancing in just like the student area of Stanford. I, I don't know. It Probably kind of weird. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and they don't show any of the other actual prom, mm-hmm. even though they built it up the whole movie with them like asking each other out for prom. Oh yeah, okay. And, but they don't. Did they do big huge asks? They they did a little bit. Okay. And yeah, there was also some random junkyard number with uh, Chad and Troy about them going to the U of A together. Okay. And. It was really weird. It was like a fever dream. The the car came to life and was like... Hey, okay. Well, you were wondering if it was going to be like Nightmare on Elm Street. It was a fever dream. Yeah. Um, And then there was like random backup dancers, but they were like dressed in in like junkyard Mad Max weird stuff. Yeah. It was it was a little strange. There was there was quite a few fantasy dance say, numbers in hmm, this one. I don't don't remember any of this. Yeah. They they went big on the the production value, so they to do that they had fantasies because like of course it makes right. more sense if it's a fantasy than even though this high school had like insane set design right they went even bigger okay with the fantasy stuff, what were so. some of the other fantasies uh sharpie had a big fantasy about how she's gonna go to new york for juilliard and like okay uh take over the town and stuff like that okay. when she was when she was trying to convince her brother to Help her. Help her, yeah. So I'm assuming the big finale is the show of High School Musical, the musical... Well, yes, but, but. they're in Stanford. The two main people are in Stanford, oh. and they have to get back. They're not going to make it back till the second ha- act. Okay. And uh, Rocket Man mm-hmm. and Sharpie have to take over the main roles. Interesting, okay. Because they're... The, well, so Sharpie had her own role, but uh, Rocket Man was an understudy. Okay. And then Sharpie got a new uh, assistant. Okay. Who was this British girl who moved to town? Interesting. Um, she's the new Sharpie. She basically is trying to be the new Sharpie. Okay. Uh, and then it turns out that she's from like a, a drama school in London or something. Oh, okay. And, but she's in grade eleven and is going to be the new Sharpie. But Sharpie doesn't need to worry about her at the moment. Well, anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they they actually manage to pull it off. Oh, of course they and do. And then the the first act goes okay, and then in plain clothes they come in and they. Troy and Gabriella do the second act with their big number. And of course it's they do. So wonderful. Is it actually? Uh, okay. All right. It's so who it's no gets the it's no Glee. It's, okay. It's no Glee singing Journey. Let no, me tell fair, you. Fair, fair. Okay. That was episode one too. Yeah. Okay. Who gets the Juilliard scholarship? Well, so. Oh, there's a story. Okay. <laughs> yes. They come. They come back on for their curtain call. Okay. And they're all dressed in their cap and gowns, and the drama teacher is comes out uh, as part of the. It's kind of like a meta part of the show. Right. It's like a grad ceremony, but it's also part of the show. Okay. And she's like kind of announcing what they're all gonna do. Okay. 
and the composer l- girl who plays the piano who plays I the like piano her. gets the scholarship. Yay! She's she's the first one announced, and then and then they go okay. Well, Gabriella's gonna go to Stanford. Yeah, she's already there. She's already there. She's it's mm-hmm, great. And, yeah. and Jim Bob, well, he graduated. <laughs> I'm assuming that was the basketball he, player. One of the, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, he graduated. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Uh, good for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and then we have, well, we have an unusual announcement. <gasps> Juilliard has, anna- has announced that they're, they're going to give a second scholarship. <gasps> and then you're like, oh, who are they going to give it to? And Sharpie's brother is going to get it for the choreography oh. program because he's been choreographed. Choreographying all the things. <laughs> Choreographying? Yeah, that's okay. the technical term. Oh, yeah, yeah, I okay. didn't know that. Mm. You learned so much watching this. Well, if you went to Juilliard, oh, yes. like I have. Yeah, uh-huh. I, I saw you tweet that. Yeah, I was on a bus, but still. It was a tour. Yeah. I took a tour of Juilliard. Really I went cool. to Juilliard. Yeah. I can say that. Yeah, it's Did true. you say that? No, no you can't. No, okay. I can't. <laughs> okay, I went to Juilliard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so, how is Sharpie feeling about this? Well, since it's the end of the movie, she doesn't have too much to say about it. Okay. Um, she she actually go she actually goes to end up go going to U of A uh, for their drama program. Oh, okay. So she's got her own thing. Okay, but it's not as good as her brother. Well, no. But she, <laughs> that's and and she gets to come back and help run the drama program at the high oh. school. Uh, to stick it to the, 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 the British chick who was trying to out oh, Sharpie her. It was, yeah, it was kind of weird. a whole. Okay, okay. Because she learned her lesson, so she gets to ruin this other girl's life. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, I, whatever. Yeah, uh, because of the wise old age of 18, you definitely are in position but to But the doing big that. dramatic announcement during this, this whole thing mm-hmm. is, is that Troy gets to decide that <gasps> he's going to go to Caltech Berkeley. Oh, he was accepted to, oh, how? Uh, he got lots of offers because he's a freaking good basketball player. Oh, okay. Is the whole thing. Is, okay. Uh, so he, Caltech and Berkeley were known for their basketball programs. Eh, uh, you surprised the tech schools. Uh, okay. You look at the March Madness. Uh, they're in there. They're in there, yeah. Okay. So anyway, he's like, I've chosen basketball, but I've also chosen theater. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, yeah, so apparently Berkeley he can do both there, and oh. and that's why he's going there. And it's also only thirty seven miles from Stanford. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So he's not exactly throwing away his education to be near right. her, especially considering he's going that like that's a better school. So yeah, <laughs> better school. Um, and partway through the movie, Gabriel is like. I might take a gap here so I can stay close to Troy. And I'm like, you are the dumbest lady I've ever the seen. The dumbest smart g- Yeah. Dumb. Yeah, well, that's very common. Uh, I know. Yeah. I'm like, oh, God. You're and like, it, don't do her it. Her friend is like, no. Good. Good on you, friend. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good on you, friend. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like that the nerdy people in here are, like, attractive girls, first of all. Yeah. Um, they're not like. They, they, let, let me just point this out. In the first movie, though, they are still very much shunned. Yeah. Even though they are very attractive. Oh, that <laughs> yeah, that part doesn't matter. But they could have really characterized the nerds as being like '90s nerds with the pocket protectors and stuff. Like this wasn't this wasn't that far removed from like Saved by the Bell days, right? Or True. The, the, that was it. So I like that they're just like no, nah, they're just like that. They're the main characters too. They're just yeah. But gasp, she <laughs> knows math. Equations. Oh, no. Okay, so movie's done. We found out where everyone was going. Yeah, and uh, so they do a big curtain call. Okay. Uh, it, it's difficult because they have, like, an actual grad ceremony. Um, Troy's the valedictorian for some reason. Valedictorian? Yeah, well, he's giving he's giving a commencement speech. Oh, and he might be class president. No, he's not class president. Are we sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because class presidents also give commencement speeches. I guess, but it, and that's more it's, popularity thing. It seems like it seems mm. like a valedictorian okay. situation. He's giving a very valedictorian okay. speech. Okay. And uh, he, he, yeah. So they have they have this whole thing, and but then they they meta back onto the stage and do a curtain call. Okay. Uh, in their cap and gowns. Of course they do. Back. Because they were in their same cap and gowns on the stage, totally so you, I, you don't know what's going on. Okay, um, but that's supposed yeah. to represent the chaos that is youth growing up. 
facing the future. Yeah. To, uh, you don't know what's going right. on. Right. <laughs> and they jump in the air. Okay. And, yeah. And yeah. then the, and throw the, their hats. No, they they threw their hats before during actual. Grab. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it just like freeze frames Perfect. like Perfect. Like definitely eighties teen it. movie yeah. style. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Even better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Favorite moment in this one. Uh. I did like the freeze frame. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Favorite songs in this one. Song in this one. Um, that's a tough one. I didn't like the music in the third one as much. Mm-hmm. It it definitely had a higher budget and like the musical arrangement was, was stronger. Mm-hmm. But the music itself. But the music itself wasn't as catchy, okay. I guess. So, eh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, favorite. Maybe maybe the and a high school musical the, the musical, musical the song. Just because it's high I don't school know, musical it's the like musical lame, the song. Yeah. Okay, cool. I couldn't tell you a single song from it. Um, I've listened to music from the first two, but it's, it's all the movie. Also, the movie I know the lead. So. Funnily enough, I did see that the soundtrack to this high school musical three mm-hmm. uh, was on the Billboard Top 200 sound or oh, albums. Yeah. Or, yeah, it was albums. Uh, n- number two. Really? The only Good thing on that you, saved husband. us from it being number one was ACDC. So. Oh, well, fair. Thank you, ACDC. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Um, what was your? Who was your favorite character in all of it? Probably, probably the, like I said, the drama teacher before mm-hmm. you asked me that mm-hmm. before, and it was probably the drama teacher. Yeah. But I also quite like the composer girl. Yeah. Um, she was she was kind of like a minor side character, but she was like putting together these massive productions. And like composing the music and writing the mm-hmm. music, uh, they they like dismissively call her Mini Sondheim, <laughs> and I'm Dismiss- like, that- I'm like, that's not a very good insult, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna insult you, you genius. Yeah, you genius. <laughs> 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 and like, the, these are these are musical theater kids that would know what that means like it's I, it was weird it was yeah, kind of weird but okay. anyway right. no she i remember liking her a lot and i remember liking she, ryan a lot she she kicks butt and uh she gets she gets the scholarship yeah so, uh, uh, basically i like the two handed for the scholarship yeah what you're telling me mm-hmm. okay cool well yeah so ryan mm-hmm. uh, sharpie's brother sharpie's brother uh he's not g- great in the first one but no. in, in the following two movies he's, he's good in this in the third much one too? better yeah okay. he's mo- most i like him yeah. in the second one I yeah don't she remember he actually one. uh he actually cozies up with the with the piano girl so i don't think she's his type no like they, they like go to buddies they go to prom together mm-hmm. and they sing together but like it, they're, they're it's like not, besties it's not uh it, it's not like it's a, not romantic romantic yeah at they're all. friends yeah that's cool and they appreciate each other's genius yes the talent i like that mm-hmm. well clearly and now they get to go hang out in juilliard mm-hmm. okay overall thoughts I wouldn't recommend watching all three over six hours. Um, Mm -hmm. I can see why it was popular with teens. And, like, hey, Mm -hmm. musicals are good. Musicals are good. There's nothing wrong with musicals. So That's true. uh, I look at at High School Musical the same way I look at Harry Potter, and I'm going to make a lot of enemies saying this, but (gasps) it's entry-level musical for kids, just like Mm -hmm. Harry Potter is entry-level fantasy for kids. That's fine. Yeah, and that's fine. It doesn't, no, like, when you say for kids, you meaning that's the target audience, yeah. not like, you have to be a kid. No, like, like, you can enjoy it if you're an adult, but. Yeah, it was definitely, we always talk target audiences, like, in writing and stuff yeah. like that. The target audience was, was young people, like, I, preteens. I, I like stuff for young people. Like, yeah, me too. Like, Star Wars is aimed at mm. younger people a lot, a some, lot of it. Some of it. A lot of it is, um, but there there is definitely more advanced there's more advanced mm-hmm. musicals. There's more advanced fantasy. Mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. All that. Yeah, so. Entry level is what yeah. we said. Okay. Um, I have a activity for you. Oh. It's, <laughs> no, no, I no, just no. ran a marathon. No, no. It's you. It, you're, you're, I'm get, quizzing you on you. Oh, dear. I'm going to read your hashtags, and you're going to try and remember what was going on when you hashtagged this. Okay. So these, these are always following comments, okay? <laughs> uh-huh. But I'm just going to read you the hashtags. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, I do get a little hashtag heavy there. Okay. Hashtag just needs some shades. Oh, uh, okay. So this was in the third movie, mm-hmm. um, and during the big musical number, uh, Sharp Sharpie singing singing a ballad, singing away, and uh, Rocket Man is supposed to cover for Troy because of mm-hmm. course he's mm-hmm. he's not there yet, and she's singing, and he, the cue happens, 
and then there's nothing and she she sings again and and the, the orchestra swells and uh-huh, everybody's uh-huh. looking around and the 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 scouts from Juilliard are like I think there's a problem. Oh no. And then out busts Rocket Man and he's <laughs> he's got he's got some feather boas and a wow. big suit jacket and a and a big hat on and I said, "Okay, he's earning his name as Rocket Man now. He's going full Elton." Full Elton. But okay. he didn't have any sunglasses oh, on. Like, what's it's he doing? weird. What's yeah, he doing? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a long long time. Mm. <laughs> Hashtag plot hole. Oh, ah, there was a few of those. Um, this one I don't remember specifically. Uh, because there was a, a lot of plot holes. It, it might have been the fact that there was uh, uh, an entire basketball team yep. filled with juniors. You got it right. Yeah. yeah. You, you're right on the Elton and you're right on that one. Okay. Mm. Hashtag get your tetanus shot. <laughs> this is when they were doing the big musical number mm. in the junkyard. Okay. <laughs> and and the, the dudes jumped out wearing junk. And I was like, yeah, you got to get your tetanus <laughs> shot. Yeah. This one is going to be tricky because you had two hashtags on this tweet. Mm. This, so I'm only going to read one of them, and I'm going to read the hardest, the harder one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hashtag but still. <laughs> B-U-T-S-T-I-L-L. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> yeah. clarify. Just not clarify. a derriere that's not moving. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I, I don't remember uh, what. I, I, I do remember saying but still. It. It might have been uh, for Juilliard. It was Juilliard. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, I did. This was just like a couple I hours know, ago. I know, but there's there was a lot of tweets. <laughs> <laughs> there was. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I went on. I went to Juilliard. Uh, it was just a tour. Ha- hashtag just a tour. Uh, hashtag but still. Yep. <laughs> H- hashtag justice for creme brulee. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is. This is from the second movie, and I'm mad at at Sharpie for just completely forgetting about everything that she and Zeke had together. <laughs> Poor Zeke, he he's completely forgotten. Okay. Justice for yeah, Cumberland. That's right. Um, I'm ready to do two more. Hashtag tax the rich. <laughs> okay, I I do specifically remember this. Um. It, it's just after the driving range yeah. scene in the second one. Um, Sh- Sharpie is is just slicing the heck out of some custom mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sharpie Evans golf balls on the driving range, and I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, this this might be biting satire of mm-hmm. late stage capitalism. Mm-hmm. Hashtag ca- that's exactly what it was. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My very favorite hashtag. Freddie wants to sing. <laughs> okay, this this one's good. This one's good. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's why it's my favorite. Uh, uh, so the first one is is kind of roughly loosely based on Greece because at least heavily inspired. Is this yeah. inspired? Mm-hmm. He's like whatever. They 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 meet on a break and then mm-hmm. they come back to. Together and they have problems, but they work it out in the because end because of it's their a, different social groups. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so mm-hmm. Greece. Um, and then the second one I got definite dirty dancing vibes yep. because it's like a summer country club and they have a talent show whole thing yeah there's there's no like probably my two favorite movies no teen up. pregnancy subplot though no, thank no, goodness because no, no. that wouldn't have worked very yeah, well but yeah. um works in dirty dancing though hmm? yeah yeah let's all remember that that's actually what uh the whole driving plot point in dirty dancing hmm. is hmm. kind of time very apropos yes yeah, so. um but anyway no, that's not in the so i was i was this was after watching the second, before mm-hmm. I turned on the third one, I was wondering what the teen movie <laughs> was going to be, that the third one was going to be yeah. inspired by, and I was hoping it was Nightmare on Elm Street, hashtag Freddie wants to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you said they had a lot of, like, crazy dreams and, like, fantasies and stuff. Yeah. yeah. None, none of them, none the of them got murdered, no. though. Uh, where, what was it based on, do you think? <sighs> it, it seemed like Glee to me. Like, mm. it was just Glee. It was just super Glee? Yeah. Okay. So, like, nothing, really. Okay. Yeah. All right. Favorite song of the whole thing, or like moment of the whole thing? <sighs> I I think the freeze frame at the end. <laughs> a because it was like just amazingly cheesy, uh-huh. and then they fully went there. Yeah. And and B it was over. <laughs> okay. Anything else to add for High School Musical? Uh. You're so glad there's not a fourth one. 
there, it, te- technically, there is a spinoff. What? Oh, yeah, Sharpay. Sharpie's <gasps> Big Adventure. I've never seen it, but we should totally watch it. Uh, y- you can feel free. <laughs> no, no, we're going to watch it. It's um, fun. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you are ready to watch the television show now? No, I don't think I am. <laughs> no. Um, but I, I will leave you with the fact that don't look to Coach Bolton to give you advice. <laughs> He's no Coach Bombay. Exactly. If you're if you're going to look for a Disney coach that starts with a B, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. former alcoholic Coach Bombay mm-hmm. is the one to go with. Yeah, and he because he didn't start as a good coach, but he got there. He got Whereas there. Whereas Bolton was like, I screwed up. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me do it again. I have three movies to keep screwing up in. Yeah. He's, I'm the grown he, up. He's, he's neither a great father or a great coach. Yeah. He just has his moments. All right. Yeah. And some of them are really bad. Uh, I, I just remember being really upset I, with him the I, whole time. Okay. I will say what my I think my mm-hmm. favorite tweet from the night okay, was. Okay. Okay. Because I didn't say it. Because it, it's it's, it is a coach. Oh, yeah. It's a yeah. coach Bolton. Yeah. And I, he's he's trying to give advice. Yeah. And I so I paraphrased is. it. Yeah. Coach Bolton says, mm-hmm. there's no I in team, yeah. but there is an I in scholarship. <laughs> that was one of my favorites, too. And, and that's exactly what he's saying. Not not in those words, but yeah. I, I, I think I put it yeah, a little better it. than okay. he did. Yeah, okay. I, I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else to add? Go Wildcats. When we were in Disneyland once, they had a Wildcats victory parade. Great. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> Let's not and say we did. <laughs> see, I loved Glee, so I'm definitely going to watch the show. And I'm really excited that this is now a series where I can just, like, give you these types of movies to watch. You're going to be doing... Can, can they be less than six hours? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the only trilogy, I think. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Well, that is our show. <laughs> Thanks, is, El yeah. Mule, who's responsible for the custom theme song you heard at the top of the show. You can find a link to his work at our website at disneya.wixsite.com slash podcast, and that's where you can also find a link to our social media accounts. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, most active on Instagram, except tonight. Tonight, very, very active on Many tweets. Twitter. Many tweets. Really, really go check those out. They're awesome. Like, you're quite clever, Radden. Did you know that? No. <laughs> you don't feel clever right now? No. Brain's a little mush? Yeah, a little mushy. A <laughs> little mushy. But you definitely want to check out those threads. The, the, that, yeah, that was literally live tweeting, so I don't know. That was pardon, great. Pardon the typos and everything. No, you didn't have very many typos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you rated or reviewed our podcast, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, we would really appreciate it if you did, especially like on Apple Podcasts, but really just wherever you listen to your podcasts, it helps us out. And if you know someone who might like listening to us, please do recommend us. So next week, we mentioned at the top of the show, we're going to have a show all about Obi-Wan. Kenobi! Exactly. Oh, wait, no, he's not in this no, one. No, no. <laughs> so um, this is your spoiler warning. Yeah, that... It's six episodes. Yeah, go They're, watch it. None of them are more than or, no. None of them are actually even an hour. No. The last one's almost an hour, but uh, yeah. So yeah, it's less than three High School Musicals. That's true. Easy <laughs> peasy. <laughs> um, and we're not gonna go like crazy in depth, but we're gonna do like an overview and then just our general thoughts and things like that. If yeah, just be aware there will be spoilers, but there won't be like super 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 deep analytical spoilers. No, we're not. Uh, we're not going to do film theory and mm-hmm. all. There's exactly. a lot of symbolism and stuff in this. We'll leave that to the experts. Exactly. Sounds good. Well, till then, I'm Krista. And I'm Brandon. <laughs> till that next adventure, get you head in the game. And TTFN, ta-ta for now. Go Wildcats! Thanks for listening to Disney A. Eh? High school. Musical.